The guy's a dead manager. I don't care, I sound salty as hell. For some reason, the guy turns up against us, but he gets slapped around by everyone else in the league. These dickheads even lost to Arsenal. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Blues Fans TV. Welcome to your official review for Chelsea 0, Manchester United 2. Welcome back to the winter break. It's still the same old bullshit at home. Our home record has been pathetic and today I think was just the icing on the cake. I'd like to try and add some positives to today, but I'm not even going to lie, I can't. Today was terrible. It was an awful performance. I think we rallied well in the first 10 minutes, but it was just downhill from there. I think from the lineup. We were put in a tough position anyways, because I've got the thing on my phone out now. We had Tammy out injured, Loftus-Cheek out injured, Pulisic, Hudson-Odoi, Emerson all out injured, and Kepa out as well because of his form. So we're going in today with already a tough lineup and an even tougher bench. And today, it just got worse. I mean, I respect the fact that maybe Lampard's trying to do something to Kepa's confidence by putting Caballero in goal for an extended run. I don't even think Caballero is that much to blame today. I think the problem was more outfield. First thing I want to say is I know Lampard, he's got a tough lineup. There's already a lot of, there's already a lot of ad bad additions to the squad as it is. And the players that he put trust in today let him down. But only criticism of Lampard today, even with the lineup, I'm going to say is that Giroud should have come on a lot earlier. Batshuayi was fucking awful today. I'm sorry, Batshuayi was shit. And. You know what, I've said it since day one. I personally, I think, Mishi's a decent personality and his Twitter game is mad. But on the pitch, nah, he's not saying shit. And I've said it since day one. Batshuayi was awful today. I'm going to say the line again, as useful as a condom with a hole in it because that's, that's exactly what it was today. He was poor. Missed three brilliant chances to put the ball in the back of the net. And the thing about Mishi Batshuayi is that his finishing's meant to be his strong point because usually, I usually criticise Batshuayi for what he does off the ball outside the 18-yard box. And to be honest, today he still barely did nothing. He was just getting thrown all around the pitch and barely pressing, barely showing any sort of hold-up play and barely going into any 50-50s. But when he got the ball in the box today, he didn't even put the ball in the net and that's meant to be his main strength. That's the thing that's fucking annoying because our problem has been for ages that we don't make the most of our chances. The balls were put to him on a fucking play. I'm sorry, you should have done a lot better today. And personally, I think that that's just it for Batshuayi. Giroud needs to be starting more games. Now, I've said maybe it could be that Lampard's style of play doesn't really suit Giroud. And that's probably why he doesn't really get as much game time. But come on, he had a much better performance today than Batshuayi. He even got a goal, yeah, got ruled out for VAR and all his bullshit. But at least he showed impact. Batshuayi hasn't shown impact throughout this season, other than that goal against Ajax and the goal against Manchester United. And that's the thing, because he's such a frustrating player. The guy's responsible for three of the best limbs I've ever seen in a way in. One as the league against West Brom, the goal against Ajax, the goal against Atletico Madrid, and the last kick of the game. And then what? What the fuck was it? That's the, this is the thing. So many players today, we know exactly what they're capable of, and they don't show it. William today, how many fucking corners are going to go past the first man. If we're being really honest, this shit happens every week. And I stand it. I'm not standing here trying to rant for the sake of it for any of you bullshit say oh, we're making the most out of a loss. Because we actually make more when we win compared to when we lose. So fuck yourselves. The thing about today is that we had, we had the players that could have at least done something. You're nice to shit as well. And Ole's beating us three games in a row. The guy's a dead manager. I don't care, I sound salty as hell. For some reason, the guy turns up against us, but he gets slapped around by everyone else in the league. These dickheads even lost to Arsenal. And we couldn't beat them. Three games in a fucking row, and we've lost to them back to back to back. I swear down, if Ole leaves as Manchester United, he's got a clean streak of wins against us and one draw. I mean, come on, guys. Here's the thing. Top four could have been in the bag for us. Top four realistically could have been in the bag for us because our problem has been the games that we should have won, not the, not the tough top six games. Our problem has been the games against Bournemouth, the games against Southampton, the games against West Ham, the games where we should have got three points in. And the problem again goes into that after January because here's the thing, we'd be a lot calmer about this if we still had the transfer ban, but we fought tooth and nail to get this transfer ban reduced. And then what did we do? We just tried to get rid of Giroud all month. And Giroud was probably the best striker we had out of him and Batshuayi. 
Lampard even came out in the media and said, I want transfers. He said, I, I need players. He needs improvements to his squad and we didn't give it to him. Maybe the players weren't there that we needed, but I don't think we went hard enough. I still think that there were players there that we could have gone for. And it's fucking annoying, but... Here's the thing, we're still fourth and somehow the shit is still salvageable because the teams below us are even worse, playing worse than we are right now. Tottenham is must win. Tottenham was already must win before that. Now it is even more must win. If Tottenham beat us at home, they go above us in the league. They, they've only beaten us once in the last 30 years at this ground and the only time they did that, they faced the most gutless Chelsea squad I've ever seen in my life. We need a fucking performance on Saturday. Straight up, because our home record has been pathetic for months. And here's the thing, it was calm, I get that this is a transitional season, but we make the same mistakes time in and time out and there's no improvement. Our home record needs to improve. Fact is, we're going into February now, we need to start making some changes, we need to go look into games differently than the way we looked before. Drew needs to start on Saturday if Tammy Abraham isn't starting. And players need to fucking turn up and stop doing the same shit. We need to stop losing the ball to the first man every fucking cross of his and Reese James. We need to stop wasting every single corner. We need to be better defending corners. The passing today, fucking hell man! Some of the long passes they, even from Jorginho, and usually he's better off at it. The one thing I will say is that the front three were all poor today. And I think for a year and a half, Jorginho's long balls have been wasted because the attack just wastes it. But we need to see something different, man. It's Chelsea v Tottenham on Saturday. It can't be the same bullshit performance. Guys, let me know what you think of the game down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. I need a zoo.